there can be only one podcast, and may it be the Prince of the Universe. Hi, folks, I'm Matt. And I'm Wes. Today's topic, video stores. Mm, the smell of popcorn. Ah, the hour of and walking that... down each aisle over and over again going, eh, do I really want killer space clowns this time? No, still not feeling it. There's a, There was always a distinct smell of popcorn or like some hardcore carpet astringent like somebody had thrown up before you had went in <laughs> and they were really covering it up but uh, but remember they'd be sometimes they'd be playing a movie oh yeah you know or playing trailers you know just their they had sure. their on the loop. vhs full of trailers on the loop and you'd you look up watch the trailer for a minute then continue down the next aisle skipping the romance aisle i was thinking you were gonna say meatballs one. too that oh. <laughs> But remember all the hard, I remember going through all the B hard, and that's one thing I do miss. If we're going to talk about video stores, let's talk about the good old days because there were some good old days. I can't believe that we spent hours walking around a video store. I can't believe you're talking about video stores and you're not talking about going behind the curtain. Well, we didn't have a curtain. Oh, well. not the ones we went to. Which one did you go to? Yeah, pass on that. Mine were a lot of blockbuster. I mean, then the ones around here. Did any of them here have a curtain? Oh yeah. Who? I can't National remember. video? No, not like one. like the ones that would be like I'm trying to think of like Danny's VCR repair or something. <laughs> you know? Oh no! And that they was, would have like the Mardi Gras beads hanging over the doorway or the okay. curtain, and you're like, there was oh okay. One that had the Faces of Death videos. Yeah, it's in the old Walmart sh- or not Walmart, but it's it the, shopping the shopping center, center in West Monroe. Monroe. Yeah, Hogan Alley or whatever it's that thing's something called. Something like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I remember because me and my friends would rent them. And you it know, was huge. That was store was that was it was like a yeah. grocery store well, huge. After it was after we get the last one, the guy goes, "Hey, do you just want to buy these from us? We'll give you a good deal." I went, "What do you mean?" He went, "You're the only one that comes in here and wa- rents them." So my uh, the owner said, "If you want them, they'll give you a good deal." I was like, "I wouldn't own these. That's creepy." <laughs> that I'm watching them is a little unsettling. But that that I became the only one in town that was renting them. I was oh like, yeah, oh, never mind. Yeah, you. Would but it watch. was me and my roommates who were watching it at the time because we were like, "Whoa, dang!" And they most of them were not that bad, you know. They were just very unsettling. They were very. And, uh, to be fair, the last one was the one I was like, I don't think I do this anymore because it was like uh, violence against do- animals, yeah, dogs, and cats. Yeah, pass and on that. I don't, I don't have pets. So I don't really care that much, but yeah. I did not like that at all. I yeah, like, you that's know what? too much. I don't want to see any more of this because that one, because you'd see burn victims, yeah. you know, with their finger, the, the skin kind of melting off their hands. Ooh, that's gross. Some uh, some guy shot they, himself. Yeah, okay. they would show like uh, like in a foreign country, they would if someone was like so, a rape, they yeah, would like someone get, chop their chop their hands. Someone getting hung yeah. for real and choking. You you'd see stuff like that. It wasn't. Too gruesome. I mean, you, there's more gruesome stuff in Saw movies than there were on Faces of Death. You know, mm, only, I don't know. Some the only thing the... was, well, I mean, there was some things every once in a while. They showed deadly crashes. Sure. But the thing was, that was the most light one. Cause you're like, okay, it's yeah. just a big crash, but someone no died. Gore. Yeah, no gore in that crash. Shown. You know, no gore shown. But that's kind of what they came. And then they did one with pets because they were just running out of other footage. I was like, or we're just animals, not pets. I was like, I don't know. I can't. Mm-mm, I can't see this anymore. So, but I remember I, I turned the last one in, and that's when he asked me if I wanted to t- buy them from him, and they'd give me a good deal because no one rents them. I was like, oh, I felt awful. You're felt like, awful. oh, I'm that guy. I should have gone behind the beaded curtain. <laughs> <laughs> the beat it cur- curtain or the beaded curtain? The beaded. Okay, I thought you said the beaded curtain, and that's probably. <laughs> Isn't that the same place? <laughs> uh, probably is the same place. Probably just have to pay five dollars more. I didn't see the beaded curtain anywhere, but mm. my. Uh, Video, my brother claims that... Do you remember Video Giant? Mm-hmm. He claims Video Giant didn't have a curtain. It was just on a row. Mm. Like a mature... There was a mature section that was just... Sure. It was listed mature. Yeah. But you could walk down that aisle and look at all the... Clamshells. You know, whatever. <laughs> 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 you hold it next to your ear, you can hear the ocean. Yes. Yes. And yes. I it was hold everything near my ocean. <laughs> <laughs> Downhill. <laughs> okay. 
but I remember Video Giant had the seven videos for seven days for seven dollars. You know, we would rent that. We'd go through, and you'd spend maybe two hours, hour and a half. I can't believe we spend that much time. Do you remember they had the some some places had the gumball machine, right? If you got oh, yeah. the color yellow or red, or and there were there were red gumballs gimmick. in there. It was a gimmick to get sell. But the thing was, you twist those quarters. I, I think I, I I know like a lot of people the 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 image they have is blockbuster and like that's the meme that you always see now but i thought in the 80s the individualistic video stores all had a different kind of charm to it i know that kind of goes back to our old our podcast about different radio djs right. and how they were but i thought there was a certain charm to each one of those because you may go here because they had uh disney movies or they may have voltron or some odd animated or you went because there was that cool guy or girl that you were friends with that you know kind of like movies too y'all could chat movies randall you know yes exactly right randall's fictitious character from clerks not someone that was working in any of our stores but no there's isn't real (laughs) the second one i've been living my life but anyway but yeah there was there there were some randalls here now, Mikey, who moonlights on Saturday Morning Salmon Flange and was one of the original co-hosts, he used to work at Blockbuster back in the day. So he used to be one of those guys that you would just go in, talk to him. And I'll, I'll be honest, I had people like that. I had friends like that that um, you liked the story of the lady from Balkanville. Yes. Who was the B horror movie. And, you know. Um, I think I know where that video store was. Probably so. You probably, it was like a little white little shack down the road. Past their old, older lady, not too old. I mean, you know, yeah. 40s probably, but really nice, really nice. I do regret never going back. But I know uh, that was such a sad. I felt awful when you told that I, story. I, I, felt, I felt awful because I told her I would, and I thought no, because I mean, she was just happy that someone else watches the Bihar because she loved it, and she just wanted a friend I, I know, to talk about it. The story was so good, <laughs> and then you said you didn't go back, and I was like, <laughs> oh man, this is a awful ending it is this awful. is she died of a broken heart this is no one too else much reality it. for me <laughs> but 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 oddly enough we won that on a radio show too wow radio free video rentals for a year you're just linking all of this up yeah that kind of this is better than what marvel can do just linking all this together <laughs> one big We're podcast tying things together better than the mcu here yeah. But no, but radio stores had that. I mean, radio. Look at me. Video stores had that endearment. Had that endearment. Movie gallery. That was the other place. We had like Curtis Mathis here. Um, You had Babers and everything. Yeah, but everything was just everything had a different charm. But you had mom and pop. When you had a ton. That's what I mean. The mom and pop thing was Uh, way more. I remember there's a gas station out near Luna Uh that also had a video store. Because people out there need a video. But we would go by there and because they had a good selection of, I, I think they had all the Friday night, Friday the 13th and the. See so what I mean? Like everybody had different things yeah. that they specialized Everyone in. Everyone specially had different tapes and stuff like that. Uh, before Evil Dead was even a uh, you know, cult classic, uh, I remember us scrounging. We, only f- we found it at the movie gallery on 18th. That's the one place that, because we watched Army of Darkness was everywhere. And I, we laughed so hard. My buddy goes, well, Bruce, Bruce said, "Hey, you know this is there's a this is a prequel to I mean this is a sequel to another movie." I said, like, "What?" I said, "What other movie?" He said, "It's called The Evil Dead." He said, "I saw it years ago." He said, "Let's try to find it." So we went to every video rent, and they didn't have it because back right. then it wasn't that big a deal. Sure. And this one movie gallery had one and two. We're like, "Oh, here they are!" And it was the original uh, VHS copies and everything, and it was it was something, it was something. But that was. Very rare. And I remember when I said, well, I'll never get... I got Army of Darkness on VHS, but I could not get Evil Dead 1 or 2. And a video store in wherever me and my dad were traveling were going out of business, mm-hmm. and they had Evil Dead 1 and 2. And I picked, snapped them up immediately because I knew they were going to be you know, rare to find. Now you can find them anywhere. But anyway, so video rental stores, massively popular. I used to get a kick out of people that would lose videos and they would have to pay these ridiculous amounts of money. $35? No. Like, it would be like, it would be like, especially if you lost something, you didn't lose Basic Instinct. I mean, like, you lost <laughs> like Meatballs 3 and they only had one copy. It was like $116 oh to replace gosh. it or something. No. Like, tapes used to be so expensive. expensive. Yeah. 
And even with, and this is something that Blockbuster didn't really run off the mom and pop stores. A lot of them survived, especially in rural areas. Sure, it's the rural area. But Blockbuster did kind of, you know, force some of the other smaller chains, national video, movie gallery, stuff like that to kind of shrink or consolidate or close down. Yeah. Blockbuster didn't just blow out the competition and even though we had blockbusters here and yes everyone went to blockbuster but you still had other options sure um and then what obviously what killed things is back in the well late to well early 2010s uh blockbuster went bankrupt and it wasn't it was netflix and redbox it wasn't streaming they they kind of you know video rental stores just kind of went belly up before streaming happened because mail in and 99 cent rentals from Redbox. Sure. Which is Redbox still around? I guess it is. I think it's gone. Oh, I think it's it? still there, but it's very. It's here and there, yeah. But yeah. Yeah, but you remember, I remember, we remember going to Redbox back in the day, and I was like, wow, this is way cheaper than going to Blockbuster. Yeah, but Redbox is such a gimmick because you would get behind someone that doesn't, like anybody. Oh, I ha- I would stay in the car because it took forever. They we acted exactly like they we were wanted. trying to launch a rocket. They yeah. could not figure out how the machine worked. <laughs> no, I think, and it's like somebody every... trying to help somebody. And yeah. It's just like I would rather go drive off a bridge. Yeah, it, it, that it was pretty bad. It was a slow process. I don't need to watch Van but, Helsing tonight. This yeah, bad. yeah. But Netflix was mail in, and yeah. you, you did those, and and we had I had Netflix. I had the three DVDs, you know, at a time. I could rent out three DVDs at a time. The most for like probably fifteen ninety nine. I month. don't. I think that so much of what killed that is, um, you know, we're talking about the streaming and everything, and, and but it's video just rental the stores died before that. Yeah, I just think the convenience of things. Everybody's taste just changed. It was. That's why it's so looked at nostalgically well, now because well, there's like a gap where everything just shifted. Well, they video blockbuster and things they could have survived. They could have survived if they would have dropped their prices. They refused to drop their prices, even though Netflix was way cheaper and killing them, and Redbox was ninety nine cents. You could go, you could get if you couldn't get it at Redbox. Oh well, you'll just have to wait, or you could go online. Remember that and and reserve it. Sure. For next time it came in, so you could you had to wait a little longer, or you could go pay. Four ninety nine for it at Blockbuster. If Blockbuster just dropped it to one ninety nine, you know, I think they would have stayed in business. I think they would have kept it, you know, and then put all their regular because a regular rental was one ninety nine, right? Or yeah, it had all kinds of like different that. gimmicks with yeah, seven but, days. But if they would have just made it ninety nine cents, you know, just drop their prices. I think they would have survived that. Now they had already had financial trouble before this. I think so that's that more what, of it than anything. That's what led if into you watch it, that documentary. That's yeah, it's if, all behind the scenes. If, if they would been financial stuff, right? If they've been wiser with their, you know, with their funds and everything, I think they could have survived the Netflix, the initial mail in Netflix. Let me get this straight: initial mail in Netflix in Redbox by just lowering the, just not lowering it to the equal prices, but keeping it just maybe slightly above. I think, but. You, and this is not to get into the financial side of it too much, but you know, bigger companies when there somebody had their hand in that pie so much, and then you put a company like Redbox is so much smaller, and they understand the revenue is going to be different, so they'll just gobble you up by volume. And, and Blockbusters, yeah. their their business was not built that way, so they weren't going to change it. And they were brick and mortar for so long they Correct. couldn't think of. You know, they did do a mail in thing, which I did take advantage of. It was good because. You could instead of mailing it in, you could just exchange it, give it to Blockbuster, and then rent three other ones. Right. The Blockbuster Unlimited was what it was called. Yeah. I don't think consumers are the the issue with most businesses. It's always that higher higher management that is refuses to see the storm that they're oh, driving obviously. right into. Have you seen the lab, the the documented the last Blockbuster? Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Um, I think it skips over a few things, but for the most part, yeah, they didn't see the change coming. Obviously, it hit them from the broadside, but this is back before even streaming, you know. Uh, and I think they could have stayed around if they would have been wiser. Uh, but streaming probably would have killed them. However, kind of shifting here now, we do have one video rental store still. I mean, it was here from. 20 years ago or 30 years ago and it's still here today yeah in the same location i don't think it's been it's i think I that location's been there for at least 15 i don't think it's been there that much longer 
Okay. All right. It's been. Oh, uh, okay. If you think so, I don't know. I, I'll, I'll ask because my uh, my uh, cousin's wife used to work there back in the day. But I'm gonna ask her how many years it's been because she would know. But I want to say it was. Oh uh, no, you're right. She worked there early 2000s, so maybe they just opened then. But I'd, I, I, I could have sworn they're around. The I mean, 90s, there were more national. I, it's a national video, national but national video, yeah. video was other areas. But that particular one, that's that like the last of the newest. Mohicans kind okay. of thing. Yeah, and it's it's on the. Oh, I should also mention it's on the border of the city limits. Right. You know, so it's kind of catching some of that rural area. But even rural video stores are gone. Yeah. There's there's not even the half gas station anymore that does it anymore out there. Those are all closed up. So this one survives somehow. It's still going, whatever. They're still getting new. Megan wanted to check it out when we first moved here because she didn't know it was still around because we just never went it that way. Right. And when we were looking around the house, kind of driving down different areas, she went, National Video Steer, can we stop? So we stopped and looked around. Wow, that's a blast from the past. You know, still got the posters and the the and the big light and the movie mm-hmm. lights, and you know they still got four ninety nine rental. <laughs> so I'm like, no, um, that, that's that's one of the drawbacks I think they have because why pay four ninety nine or five ninety nine, whatever the new rental is there, you pay the exact same price to stream it somewhere. You know, you pay it. I, that way, I don't have to drive back and forth. You know, I can watch it instantly without having to use a DVD player. It, it just it just doesn't make sense for me. I think video stores can still be relevant because there's a lot of stuff, especially the older movies and stuff, a lot of those B-horror movies that we used to watch, those aren't streaming. A lot of the older stuff, a lot of TV shows that yeah, kind stuff of doesn't even the... exist almost anymore. It's like a dead media. Yeah. Like you've, like it, but you it, could it, you could have a video store sure. survive off of, even there's some TV shows, I can't remember what, but oh, even TV shows that are exclusive to certain streaming platforms, they come out in DVD so even though someone may not have Netflix, well, we have the seasons of Stranger Things if you want to watch without having to pay Netflix. Well, I think the biggest change is, and I think it's coming within the next 10 years, as much as vinyl has made such a resurgence yes, in the has. past, definitely since COVID, but in the past five years, it's really Before jumped up then, drastically. Made, yeah. But eventually, people are going to get VCRs again and have or movies. DVD players. No, they're going to go VCR. You think VCR? I say VCRs. Will no be one back. makes a VCR anymore. The, a VCR will be okay. made again by 2028. Whoa. Okay. So VHS. What? Tapes. You couldn't buy. A, you couldn't buy a record player at well, Target. Hold on. The thing about records, though, vinyl has a unique sound that music lovers enjoy. True. I love vinyl uh, for Christmas albums. That is the only time that my record player really gets play. Can I share a Go ahead. sad story, kind of? No, please. So a couple of years ago, I ordered uh, the Peanuts Christmas album. Hmm. And as soon as I put it on, I teared up. There's something about Peanuts music and like that time when you would like watch Peanuts during the holidays and eat Dolly Madison cakes. Wow. You're like, man, I was real innocent and I wasn't all screwed up. That's the reason I like listening to records uh christmas records because it most of that stuff is on digital now it just doesn't sound the same. it's got to have that scratch and that pop yeah um uh who is it uh oh goodness um the old 50s 60s guy perry cuomo a uh, perry cuomo christmas uh, he was a big famous christmas that album on vinyl is beautiful it gets played more than any of my other, i play a ton of christmas albums the nutcracker Stuff like that. It just sounds good on the record player. Now, the only things I have on the I record... I thought the Nutcracker had something to do about being behind that curtain. Hey, oh, I, again, again, I didn't have the safety word, so I never went behind that curtain. Gotcha. So, but anyway... Ring the bell for service. <laughs> and then ring the bell to have someone stop. Um, cracking them nuts. <laughs> but anyway... Um, no, the other, the other type of records I have are children's records, like Peanuts, I have an old McDonald's record, an old Sesame Street record, some stuff I used to listen to as a kid. Sure. I'll pop it in every once in a while. I guess I should now that the girls are of age to enjoy that. Probably should play them more. But uh, a lot of chipmunks, you know, they can't, because of copyright things, they can't reprint that into a CD or streaming. So a lot of the old chipmunk albums, in fact, I think I have a full collection of old chipmunk albums uh, that I have in my collection. And it's wonderful, and I'll play through those every once in a while. I just think with the reason I said that about the VHS thing, I think that there is such a thirst 
for unaltered content. Okay. All right. No, I see what you mean there, but VHS isn't the best way. It's not the best, clearest way to watch. Well, I'm just saying if there is going to come a time where the same way people want to see classic, like watching a B horror movie, real grainy and stuff. There's there's something more endearing about that, and that will happen in the next five years. Okay. They'll figure out a way where you don't need to. Well, head so cleaner. We both seem a little bit again behind the beaded curtain. Yes. But but we need to but we're we're both kind of more positive about this than we were radio. Um that video rental stores do have a path for survival. Well, I think the reason I know the reason I am is because I just music for me once again was a visual experience. Mm-hmm. MTV was way more impactful on my life than anything top 40 radio. Right. You know, yeah, because you could see well, exactly. The stars, so I yeah. think that I just think there's a certain charm the way we talk about putting a record on, and you talk about the sound that pop, and it's got a feel to it. Uh, I think that there is something for our demo that will happen with VCRs. Do you think they'll be kind and rewind? Uh, possibly. Okay. Only if you put the dropper in the back of the tape, um, so when you rewind it too much, it doesn't like, you know, it has that drag in it. Did you ever? Yes. Well, that may be from pausing it on the wrong parts of movies too many times. (laughs) We had the dual VCR that would record the blockbuster VHS tape. Yeah, my mom had this ridiculous setup. Yeah, we used to, and we used to rent the best, and we used to have a big collection. In fact, I think I threw those away when I moved because I found all the old, yo. Know, we had a Betamax and, and all kinds of stuff. We had Betamax back in the day, and those tapes were so heavy. Like they were, I can remember they throwing were them bricks. away. They were they were bricks, man. Yeah. They were smaller than a VHS, but they were like yeah, dense metal. <laughs> it felt like yeah, but no, uh, but I, I do believe that video stores can survive one. I don't think anyone else. If national video, if someone else played the cards right, and you know you advertise, hey, you don't have all the streaming service, come rent it. Then you don't have to pay the exorbitant fees. You know, I think let them more, rent season one for you know. I, I just, I, I almost think it not not so much the TV side of it, like b- big collections. Um, I just think that people, if it's done right in a certain way, and it touches all those nostalgic. Things and speaking about yeah. Stranger Things, eventually they're going to delve into that on one of their well, yeah. episodes. No, I'm just saying have things. So you, no one can buy every. Well, I mean, some people do, but not everyone wants every streaming service. But they want to see some of these shows. Well, maybe that's what the video store could come in for, or like the B horror movies, the stuff that's not playing. I think on that's streaming. where you're going to get it at. It's it's this yeah. like almost dead. These dead IPs. I want to see Pumpkin Face. Okay, well, oh, Pumpkinhead was that his name? Yeah, Pumpkinhead, the old Bihar. Yeah, well, you can't find that streaming anywhere, but right. you can get it at your national video. Because yeah, who owns it? So they can't they yeah. can't gobble it up because who owns it? It's old. Yeah, it's old rights. But plus, they have. I'm sure they have certain you know bandwidth or whatever it is. You know, storage for these um, streaming sites. You know, but they want to put new content, not old. Not something someone will watch. Not many people are going to watch a lot of the B-horror, but there is a group of people enough to support a video store that would. Yeah. And other things. I say B-horror, but there's other things, too. That Movies that just aren't streaming, shows that aren't streaming. You could find that stuff, but that are on DVD. I think so much of it is not just what you're getting. It's that experience. If you could bring that older... And that's why you would keep regular stuff too, the new rentals and stuff like that, for people who want to have that experience of going to the th- uh, going to the um, uh, national video or what the the regular video rental store. Remember, they did they used to do specials all the time. You know, rent two movies, get a free popcorn or something. Sure. You know, a candy or something. Yeah. I loved when they did little stuff like that. It didn't right. cost them, but what fifty cents for that candy. But you rented two movies instead of one that night because you did want that big box of Reese's Pieces. Right. You know, that didn't cost them nothing. It's, they were selling it for $1.50. It probably only cost them 50 cents. Right. So that that was the kind of fun, or the gumball that was a different color. I, I, I have not been in the national video in probably 10 years yeah, or say. longer. 
I would say it's been about ten years. Yeah, I would. Now we're ha- that we're having this conversation, and if I had the time, I would definitely go there just to kind of see if they're doing it. You've only got four small kids. I mean, what are you talking well, about? You don't have time. Yeah, but I don't. I, yeah, I can't go over there. But I, I wonder, if, do they have the personalities in there? Do they? I don't think they do either. But um, we should go look. Do they have those? Yeah. What do they have that brings people in? Shoot, if I'd have thought about this, I'd have called one of them up and say, "Hey, come right," because they're just like right around the block. Come over to some stranger's house and talk about your video store experience. Is has video stores changed? Have it? What are you seeing? Obviously, they're still open, so they're and at we'll least put breaking up a, even. We'll put up a beaded curtain. They don't have a beaded curtain there. Shut up. But they can have it here. <laughs> no, they can't have it here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Darn it! I got kids. Oh yeah. Yeah, you forgot about that fact, didn't you? Did. Fun fact: the beaded curtain there. But no, I, I mean, I, I now thinking, I really should have asked maybe one of them, or just maybe talk to them at least, tell them what what they're doing there. But obviously, they got to, to them to still be in business. You know, it, the grounds still look nice. You know, the outside of the building. You know, it's not like one of the lights aren't working. You know, one of the light. You, you can tell when a store is kind of run down and kind of running on autopilot. It still looks fresh. And yeah, new. I knew someone that was involved with that business practice probably six or seven years ago. So okay. But I wonder, even today, though, what, what's the traffic be at? Obviously, they're at least breaking even, is what I'm saying, because you don't keep a store or open. Or somebody's got a hell of a tax write-off. Shoot. It's not worth it in this day and age to keep that thing open. So. But and maybe the pandemic has moved things around for them. I don't know. You know, Maybe people are more privy to doing things. Well, they maybe that's our homework do. for what we're going, we can follow this episode. Well, you know, about. a lot of people avoid going to the cinema. That's why they're doing um, specials at the... Uh, local theaters and stuff now yeah. trying to get people back into theaters but now people would rather just wait for it to come out in streaming or maybe maybe I don't know because maybe they're going to national video or your your local video store to rent something out I can't remember the last thing I went to a video store to rent though it's been that long it's been before I didn't think Megan and I ever rented anything because back then I was I was hooked on by the time I'd met her I was already hooked on Netflix I mean, well, we probably got some stuff from Redbox, but I don't remember. Yeah. I'm talking like from a video store. Me, she and I never went to a video store and rented something. And probably a year or two before I met her, I wasn't doing that either. I was doing Netflix and Redbox before that. Is that how you kind of went? I would, I would have to say it would probably be like, and I know that I've, I found some like old DVDs one day, and it was when I lived in Nashville, and it had a uh, receipt in from where we had bought it. At Hollywood Video, and that was probably oh like Hollywood two thousand. Dang, there's one I'd forgotten about. Yeah, there's so, a few of those. Yeah, they were. That's that, that was, was a, one of the major ones, and and where we were. Wow, I totally forgot about that. Yep. Yeah, uh, th- but I also remember that one thing that I liked about Blockbuster and other places, the, some of their old tapes, old VHSs, old DVDs. They gave they sold for cheap. Yeah, you know, once they got gotten off the new release item, they started stacking them. And for six ninety nine or four nine, whatever it was, you could buy it. Right, that's what I, I'm saying. Probably in my DVD collection that I have today, a lot of those. Yeah, not all, but a lot came from Blockbuster. Um, you can probably tell because the Blockbuster the case was probably still in it, but a lot of those came from Blockbuster back in the day because I buy that all the time. But Walmart has killed that all because they got the you know same kind of selections for like five dollars and stuff. So you can't even have that. I'm just trying I, to think of other things that I just say that thinking VCRs will be back. Did you ever buy? I bought some movie posters from Blockbuster or video stores back in the day. Mm. I showed you a few of them one yeah. time you came yeah, over to yeah. the Star Wars. The one that I really regret never getting. Blockbuster was doing these. I don't know. They had the. It, it was a hard painting. I can't, it was something. Looked like plaster, but it had the original Star Wars poster on hmm. it. But it had like the, like the popcorn painting up on the ceiling here. Yeah. It felt like it had those little bumps and everything. I don't know what it was made out of, huh. but I was able to find Star Wars and Jedi, but not Empire because I guess they bought all three. And someone who really loved Empire Strikes Back got that one. And I was hoping they'd reorder it. And they said, "Yeah, right. we get these all the time," but they never reordered it. Empire, and I never got it. That kind of always bothered me because I want to have the trilogy up, not sure. two out of three. But um, I did buy a few posters back in the day from them, too. That's yeah. one other thing besides movies that I bought from them. Didn't buy candy that much unless they had, like, a sale, you know. They did the – remember the movie pack? 
came with a popcorn sure, candy course, for yeah. all, for like five bucks. Well, I think video games had a lot of that. Ooh, it was a huge part of. You know what? That's still something they could do. I yeah. didn't think about that. Maybe video games keeps them in because you always would try out the video game first before you bought yeah, it. Yeah, that was a hell of a hook. Oh, that's I didn't see. I totally forgot about that because mm-hmm. they can still do that. Yep. Wow. I know that's what. This national video had a lot of the last time I was there was years ago was was a bunch of video, of video games. games. Probably half you know the what? store was I, video yeah. games. And they still do video game rentals. I bet you anything that's probably what's keeping them afloat then. Because what you you always want to play that game just to see if you or if you can beat it. Right. If you're a kid, you get all the free time in the world, you right. probably beat it in two or three days. Yep. Wow. Interesting. All right. There we get we've solved video games. I mean we've solved video stores. I know now it's time to get behind the curtain. Folks, tell us about what kind of... Do you have a video store in your area? And if so, do you use it? That's what we want to know. Or or, what's your fondest memory of a video store or maybe even the oddest? Like, did you have a video store that smelled like hardcore carpet cleaner astringent with a hint of butter popcorn? Yeah, and that was behind the beaded curtain. Okay. These are the days of our lives. (laughs) We'll see you next time on Princes of the Universe.